Okay, good uh, good day. Uh, this is um, my reviewer in reduction to Philippine criminal justice system, and this is Q and A. So let's start. One, a police officer in civilian clothes asks X where he can buy shabu. X responded by asking the officer how much of the drug he needed. When he told him, X left, returned after a few minutes with the shabu, gave it to the officer, and took his man his money. X is a. Liable for selling since the police operation was a valid entrapment. B. Not liable for selling since the police operation was a valid entrapment. C. Liable for selling since the police operation was valid form of instigation. D. Not liable since the police operation was a valid instigation. The answer is, of course, X is liable for selling since the police operation was a valid Entrapment. Number two, Police Inspector A, together with other three police officers, went to the barangay, barangay Lu, Lu to conduct buy bus operation. P1B, as the pusher buyer, approached a good looking guy named Mr. A. E and told him that he wants to score. Mr. E gave him three sachets containing white crystalline substance. After receiving the alleged shabu, P1C gave him 500. What should PO1C do? Well, the answer here is, of course, you need to check or examine if the Shea is genuine Shabu. If so, immediately arrest Mr. E. Number three, Mr. E was arrested without warrant. What is the legal justification of the arrest? So, this is in relation to the question number two. No? Uh, he was arrested during a bypass operation. And bypass operation is an example of in flagranti delicto arrest. Number four, as a professional police officer, what will be your course of action after making an arrest? So this is, no, the, you take note of the term after making an arrest. What will you do after making an arrest? Under the rule, you need to deliver him to the nearest police station. Okay? Deliver the arrested person to the nearest police station. Five, Police Superintendent T received an information that a certain in that a certain R is a member of 14K gang selling shabu and marijuana. SPO1 C and PO3 D were instructed to conduct surveillance and by bus operation against R. On February 5, 2012, the two acted as for sure buyer, purchased Mr. from R a shaded plastic uh, sachet suspected as shabu and paid 500 pesos which was a marked money. After the transaction, the two police officers um, uh, immediately arrested and eventually searched the suspect and yielded 500 grams of dried marijuana leaves. What crime or crimes did Mr. A committed? Now, in this scenario, remember, there was a by operation. After a by operation, there was a search and a drugs, so a marijuana. A marijuana was recovered. So, here, there are, there are three cases. You know? Two crimes, one is selling dangerous drugs and the other one is possession. Okay? Because selling is punishable under uh, um, Section 11. Selling is Section 11. Possession is Section 5. So there were two crimes committed. Six. Which of the following is not considered as valid warrantless search? Now we're talking here of warrantless search. Okay? And with what is being asked is not not a warrant, valid warrant search. So is it A, consent to search, B, search based on diligence report, C, search intent to lawful arrest, D, plain view. So this is letter B. You cannot search a person based on intelligence report. Intelligence report is not an evidence. Uh, it's not an evidence. Pedro, while driving his tricycle, was plugged down by a police officer. His bag was opened and the police officer found five sachets of shabu. They immediately arrested Pedro. Was the arrest valid? Okay. The answer here is no. Because the search was first effected before the arrest. Remember, uh, he was just riding a tricycle. He was being flagged down. No? Pinahinto yung tricycle. Pinababa. Inopen yung bag. May shabu. Okay? And, and that is invalid. Uh, there must be first. No? In search incident, the lawful arrest. Dapat na yung arrest. Uh, there was 
uh, the arrest was made prior to the search. Yung na reverse the process. Okay? So here, nauna ang search kaysa arrest. Kaya invalid siya. Eight, can the shabu recover the municipal evidence? This is in relation to question number seven. Can it be, you know, um, uh, it can be admissible as evidence? The answer is, of course, no. Because that is under, no, under proof of poisonous tree doctrine. Any evidence obtained illegally cannot be uh, presented in court. No, hindi po ide. Nine, judge C issued warrant of arrest against D for committing rape with homicide. What is the validity of warrant of arrest? The question here is, and the validity, what is the validity of warrant of arrest? Now we're talking about warrant of arrest. And of course, the answer here is none. Okay? Uh, maybe some of you will answer 10 days. 10 days is the validity of search warrant. Okay? Search warrant, SW. That is the validity of search warrant, 10 days. But the warrant of arrest has no expiration. It is valid. No? Okay? It is valid. Then, by virtue of search warrant for violation of RA 9165, the police entered the house of John. During the search, they were able to recover one kilo of shabu, one MCC rifle found in the table. Was the seizure of shabu valid? Okay? We are talking of shabu. No? You remember the search warrant is for violation of 9165, that is drugs. Is the seizure of Shabu valid? The answer is yes. Because it is the subject of the search warrant. It is what is written or subject of the search warrant. So that is a, a valid. A valid yung pagkuha ng Shabu. There's a follow-up question. How about the seizure of M16 rifle? Is it valid? Okay. The answer is still yes. But it is now under plain view doctrine. Remember, M16 was not included in the search warrant. But when they served the search warrant, it was found on the table. So that is considered plain view. Okay, plain view doctrine. 12. When can arrest be made? When can arrest? We are talking about arrest. Huh? When can arrest be made? Well, arrest can be made at any day. Any day, Saturday, Sunday. At any time, any time of the day or night, if it is arrest. But if it is search, it's any day at any time of the day as general rule, not, not in the saling night. Pag search warrant. Okay? So, 13, uh, Mr. R was charged with illegal possession of firearms under PD-166 and was found guilty thereof. However, PD-166 was amended by RA 8294, which lowered the penalty of illegal possession of firearms. So, the new law lowers the penalty of illegal possession of firearms. What law is applicable now? Well, the answer here, of course, is letter D. The RA 8294, because it will give a retroactive effect since it is favorable to Mr. R. Okay? It will give retroactive effect because it is favorable, favorable to Mr. R. Mr. A has allergic reaction on wearing a face mask. During this pandemic, he is forced to wear a face mask despite his medical condition, which of the following is being described. Well, of course, even if it's against your will, but because of this um, principle, general Lex, the law may be harsh, but that is the law, you need to follow. Okay? You need to follow the wearing of face mask. 15. Upon entering the mall, the guard asked the mall goer to open his bag because he will search it. The mall goer agreed and opened his bag. Is the search valid? Oh, you want to go to the mall and the, the guard asks to open your bag and you open your bag, no? Is the search valid? The answer is yes. Because it is considered a consented search. Okay? If you want, if you don't want to be searched, if you don't want your bag to be opened, then you cannot go inside or do not go inside the mall. It is not your right to be there. Okay? Although it's a public place, but it's a it's a private property. Okay? Six, 16. The maxim nolum criminola poena senilehe means that the act is criminal at the time of its commission. And, uh, so what, what do you mean by nolum criminola poena senilehe? Okay? 
the the best answer is of course the crime is a product of law no law criminal law po yung sinila is there is no crime when there is no law punishing it when to say nauna yung law kaysa criminal that's a crime you cannot say that's a crime if there is no law punishing it crime is just a product of law okay dapat may law mo na before you can consider that that act is a crime okay so that's crime is a product of law 17. Under our law, an insane person cannot be held criminally liable of an offense committed because an act cannot be criminal where the mind is not criminal. Okay, the keyword here is the mind is not criminal. Is the following is the being articulated or being described. Okay? Well, the answer is actus and positrium nisim and seria. Okay? The, the keyword here is if you are, where the mind is not criminal. And yung keyword yan. Mens rea is criminal mind. Nisi mens rea. Okay? You know, no long criminal law po yung sinilay. There's no crime and there's no law punishing it. Actus, may wito pactus and this is we use actus. An act done by me against my will is not my act. Okay? Jura lex and lex is the law may be harsh but that is the law. Okay? So, when you say criminal mind, it is mens rea. Actus, non facet reum, nisi mens rea. Okay, I think that will be all for this session. Uh, there is still part 2 and part 4. Thank you.